who just arrived back in Newick. And uh, just waiting to get off the ferry. Some of the bikes are at the front, some are at the back. We're at the, right at the back. So we've got to wait until uh, everybody else gets off. Um, so yeah, we made it. They said, the uh, chief steward said it was going to be a, there going to be some slight movement in the crossing, which is if say, saying, it's going to be rough. But, uh, Lovely, thank you. Well, that's really good of him, letting us off first. And got it! Cool, we're off. Thank you. But they're quite keen to get the ferry turned round because the uh, there have been a few delays because of the slightly inclement weather. Oh. Smells very fishy. And it's dry on this side. Still windy, but it's dry. Right, so we'll fill up the fuel and then I think we're going over the Kerrang, which will take us to the, the other side of the island so it won't be quite as windy, he says. Right, let's go. Stuart's gone on ahead in Stuart fashion. So we're going to wake our way back up this hill behind us with some stunning views, hopefully. But you, it's quite a nice little uh, little harbour. And yet again, the, the Calmac ferry staff were uh, were top off, spot on. Really, they really helpful, friendly. Apart from the guy in the uh, ticket booth. Tarbert, he was a bit grumpy, but um, yeah, spot on. We had fish and chips from the canteen, from the restaurant. It's really, really good, really good. All right, so the A8, 855 to Staffin is where we're going, and then we've got to turn off at the top of the hill. This is the road to Kerrang. And this car will not wait. And then he suddenly decided that driving up the verge isn't a good idea. Oh, this is very nice up here. Very open, very wild, very Yorkshire Moorish. Well, Robbie pulled over thinking it is a good idea to take a picture of the of the Koran, the classic shot. And just as we got off the boom in. Uh, spectacular picture views for fucking hundreds of miles. <laughs> I've got more rain on the inside of me than on the outside now. We just stopped and it's literally just started hailstoning and everything. As soon as we stopped, there was no wind whatsoever before that. Oh dear. So I come over the rise at the viewpoint and uh, the wind is absolutely horrendous, but the views have opened up because it's sheltered a little bit. The shower that we've just been caught in has disappeared as quickly as it arrived. There's a lot of rocks on the road from land slippage. But it's a stunning place, it's a bit Lord of the Ringsy. Absolutely beautiful. There's a, obviously a few tourists here, but um, yeah. Nice to come back on a summer's day. But it's completely different on this side of the hill than it is to the other side when you crest the top. 
Alright, I'm going to wait here for this pillock. Uh, it's a BMW driver, isn't it? I'm not putting my left foot down though, because I'll be down there in the stream. Oh, excuse me, nose, it's a bit blustery. Keep going, love, because you got another one up your ass. Get out of here before some words are said. <sighs> uh. It's an absolutely stunning landscape. Nice place of rock. Pull out your dilip. Cute. That's the only problem with coming up here, the touristy area, is you get people in hire cars from other countries that uh, their road craft isn't quite the same standard as it could be. So we just got to uh, the staff in and we're heading towards Portree and then Broadford and I think when we get to uh, I don't think we're going to fill up with petrol I think we need to fill up at Broadford when we fill up with petrol um, Rob is going to phone the, the ferry and find out if it's actually running because then if not we can make our way to the bridge and hopefully that will be open but Rob has already spoken to the hostel to say that we might be a bit late if we've got to take the roadway rather than over on the ferry and uh, they said it's not a problem and they're looking forward to seeing us so we shall see what that's like it should be quite a nice hostel from the look of it I'll have a look on online and uh, I'll put a link in the description below in case you fancy staying there yourself we have a tourist in a Mercedes, a little Japanese lady, uh, a little bit confused at the junction as to who's got priority and quite what bit of the road she's supposed to be using. Look at this, bright sunshine, five minutes up the road from that freaking storm. Ooh. So we're at Kilt Rock, uh, this is a, a viewpoint. So I might even be able to get the camera out here and uh, take some proper snappy snaps. Alright, so we stopped at the Kilt Rocks. Which are made out of basalt like the uh, like the cave at Staffer and the Giant's Causeway. But there was some interesting driving from higher cars. And Robbie's just very subtly uh, told us where we're meeting and what we do, what we're doing. And uh, I think it was his subtle way of Tim saying, "Tim, you're leading now," so I don't mind. There's only one road; you can't get lost. So I do believe that off to our right, or slightly, if, well, in front of us now, that is the uh, the old man of store. Just about make it out through the mist and the wind and the rain and the whatever the hell hurricane this is. There it. we go, we're right past it. Old man of store. It's been there thousands of years. Wonder how long it's gonna remain standing. Always looks so delicate. Like it's just about to snap off and then fall down. Oh, sorry, shut my visor. Yeah, I imagine there's quite a bit of a breeze at the top. There's a proper breeze down here. All right, so we've all fueled up. Uh, Stuart had gone on ahead and uh, he's phoned the ferry company, Calmac, and apparently, oh, I've got to run on the inside of my visor again. Uh, apparently, the ferry is running. 
So we're going to uh, head that way. Oh, God, look at that storm. That's not good. Wipe, wipe. That's not good at all. Yeah. It's lovely this side, but over there, which is where we're going, bloody horrible. We're just going to head for Armadale, the A851. And this will be the ferry then, the Armadale to Malague Ferry. Uh, we've got... How far? Pick the right, pick the English section, uh, 15 miles. The Gaelic is in green and the English is in black. Oh, we've got a flashy matrix. This ain't to do with the ferries. Uh, what's it say? Disruption. So it's still on, but it might just be a little bit late. But when they, uh, they sent everyone a text, and I looked on their Twitter feed as well, which is very good. Keep you quite up to date. Um, it, it was the only the the ferries between sort of mid morning and mid afternoon that were disrupted. So the uh, the later afternoon ones, like we we're going to catch the fog, up like crazy. Um, should be okay because the worst of the storm is blowing over. So we're not far away, and we can see the ferry over to the right hand, uh, left hand side there. Oh, the wind's getting up again, so this might be a little bit bumpy, although it's a, a fairly short crossing. So after Finn nearly got killed at the co-op by a, a lady bus driver, even though we were stood on the pavement, she was quite adamant that she was going to swing the front of her coach round onto the pavement. Um, We've just, just passed them again, and they're, they're rattling along at like 70, 75 miles an hour. Because they're obviously racing to get the ferry as well. So we had a bit of fun, but uh, yeah, we're nearly there. All right, so Stuart's just gone zooming back the other way. So we pull telling us that it's not running, even though he phoned up to say that it was running. It is running, but they decided not going not gonna to take motorcycles because for all the space that the motorcycle take up, they can put for two motorcycles they can put a car on, so they get more money. So uh, that's why, they, and they've obviously got a backlog because of the ferry delays. So that means we've got to ride all the way back to Fort William over the Sky Bridge and go the long way round. So we've got an extra two hours of riding just for fun. Well, I'm glad I had that coffee now because I think I'm going to need it for the next uh, couple of hours of riding. Ah. Apart from the wind, it's uh, the conditions aren't too bad. The, the road's nice and dry, it's grippy. There's only a little bit of uh, holiday traffic. But it means we've got a backtrack now. Another, what, 10, 15 miles? <sighs> oh well, certainly an adventure holiday, this one. Lots of under unpredictability. Alright, so we're back at the Sky Bridge. So Fort William is 78 miles from here. And there's caution for high winds. No shit, Sherlock. But so far, not too bad. Yeah, so I reckon we've got about another 100 miles to go. Um, yeah, about 100 miles. So hopefully we can get on the Curran Ferry to take us the short distance across to the, uh, towards Strontian. But we shall have to see when we get there. 